We will be reading from Psalm chapter 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with my hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Saturday, when the world comes to a rest, when the Roman leaders thought they have silenced the Jews and the prophecy is now fulfilled, when the followers have lost all hope, locked up in the upper room, when they doubted the truth, when they no longer know the way and what will happen to their lives, when their confidence lies only in Jesus' earthly life, they have forgotten the testimonies of their ancestors. They have forgotten of a God who delivers his people out from the tyranny of Egypt, restores them in the land of the living. Lord, we too feel like we're being locked up in our own private rooms, in our respective houses, not knowing what to do and what really is happening around us. Lord, when rooms are closed, open the doors of our hearts and release us from our deepest pain and fears. Cleanse us, O oh God, that even if we are in this situation, we can still see clearly your goodness and your daily provision. To count none of the blessings rather than what we want to be blessed with. Lord, 
teach our hearts to be humble and kind. When we see that evil has abound, O oh Lord, challenge us to stand up and do what is good. O oh God, we have journeyed with you, walked with you in this Lenten season. We have come to know characters that guided us, enlightened us, and learned from them that we may sustain our walk of faith. O oh God, we seek you to cleanse us from all our infirmities and even of this world. It is our prayer, O oh God, that we will rise up with you victoriously in spirit and in truth. We pray for new heart, dear Lord, uh, so we may live a new life in Christ. Amen. that created the heavens Find me now Where the grace runs as deep as your scars You pulled me from the clay You set me
Oh, sweet now. 